Okay, here it comes. So Cotton, who, had, who gave the great, great advice, and Leon, who I considered my adopted dad. Now we got, got a third piece of this three-star puzzle. I met Bob Snevlin in 1989. I didn't grow up with him, but I met, met him young enough and he gave me a ride home one night. And that's when he was living out in Belton, he had three kids, and he was on his way home after a gym and we were talking. All I can say is, whenever whenever anyone needed anything, he would help out. If you needed, if he wasn't feeling well, but you, he knew you needed some monitors, he'd tell you to come by the house, I got you set up. In a pinch, if, he, if you needed him, he was there. We traveled to South Dakota, hit like a festival, the next, the next day we're in Paola, Kansas doing the first uh, Paola Roots Blues Festival. That was, I believe, Nick's first road trip with the band like that. It was pretty awesome. One thing I can say about, about Bob is he was real. He was a real man, he was real blue. You had to understand where he's coming from and he had ideas you couldn't see, but then you found out he was really a true artist. The beauty in this, and I could go on forever, but we can talk later if anyone needs, wants to know anything in my journey. Mary Ann, this is Bob Schneblin's mother. We want to thank you. We really want to thank you for sharing Bob with us. He's an awesome guy. We're going to get to it. He also has other family. If I could get Nick, Chris, and Daniela. This is the product of the family. When I met Bob, we became my brothers. He took me out to his house. He had a sense of humor. He was, we were eating something. He goes, hey, let's cook something up. He made some stir fry. I go, oh, that looks like some good. I've never seen that ketchup bottle before. So I load it up. He goes, well, that's sriracha. <laughs> so, and I go, wow, that's how he goes. Yeah, I never put that much on. And whenever I was getting ready to do something wrong, he would say, you're going to stick your nose in the pan, and it's going to get bit. <laughs> and you want to stay in this business, get that thick of skin, it's going to be leather. But he hung through. When I got introduced, I think Danielle was six years old. You guys were pretty young. And I watched them how they were, they had the manner. That was one thing I noticed. They had personality, they each had their thing going, but they had manners. They were beautiful people. And that can only be come from where they, he came from. So he was top man. And so on and on we go with the offspring. I remember when Danielle was singing. One week she sounded like a little girl. The next week she sounded like a woman. She's down at Winslow. Never trust a man. And I just got tears falling down my face. There'll be some video later. I have some stuff of Nick when he was 14 with Bob for, great, for playing to a tribute for Leon Estelle. It's the, everything's coming out of the woodwork. I just got that three days ago. So I'm getting all this stuff coming. There'll be a lot more to happen. But for right now, I do want to thank Marianne. I want to thank you, Danielle, Chris, and Nick. Snapping for sharing your family and Bob with us. I want to thank you. And we present you with this plaque, Robert Nicholas Smithen, in memory of. And like he said to Nick when he taught him a pentatonic scale, and said, I can't teach you how to play the guitar. I can't do it for you. But you get some of these things down a couple of things, then I'll see you at the gig. And he always would say, you playing bass with me tonight? You playing some guitar? Okay. All right, see you at the gig.
So see you at the gig. He's here right now. In honor of your contribution to the Kansas City music scene from the Kansas Musicians, Entertainers, and Memorial Society, we hand out the flag to Mr. Robert Nicholas Bob Snowden. I'm full of it. <laughs> full of it. No, Bob, Bob was a unique kid. And he had he wanted to play music all of his life. Huh? A fender and a Kalamazoo lamp. <laughs> Second hand. <laughs> but he first he learned to play violin in Mark, at Mark Clay School here in Kansas County. He called me up one day, I was at work, and he says, Mom, I signed up for violin lessons. When can I have me instrument? So we had it that night. Yeah, very much so. No, he had it in mind always to learn to play music. And the blues just naturally attracted him. <laughs> and uh, this is... Nicholas Robert, and this is Christopher Robert Neblin. So he's met and remembered three times. <laughs> Isn't that something? Either that or no imagination. <laughs> no, he said he wouldn't name both of them after him, so. That's what he did. So, oh, he was full of, <laughs> he was full of it. <laughs> <laughs> Music and otherwise. <laughs> Just ask me, so she'll tell you. <laughs> he's, a, he's a very beautiful woman. <laughs> And I'm proud job, of her. She's my granddaughter. And I mean, not my granddaughter, my daughter-in-law. We don't, we don't. So, I think that's all I better say. <laughs> Get with Mary Ann around here in the shade, and uh, she has some stories that she'd probably like to share with you. Now, as, a, as this thing keeps coming together, we keep learning more. I did not know their middle names were both Robert, so we have Robert, Robert, and we're in memory of Robert. So, here we go. I'm going to turn this over to Nick Schnevelin, Nicholas Robert Schnevelin, and uh, we'll go from there. Now, I, just, I just wanted to thank everybody for being here today. Thank you very much for coming and uh, celebrating the remembrance of our dad as well as Leon Estelle and Cotton Candy. I want to thank you all very much for being a part of this. This is what I'm going to say thank you. I'm our fan. All right, well, as you know, can we, can we applaud in memory of Leon, Mr. Blues Estelle? Anetta Cotton Candy, Washington, and Robert Bob Nicholas Schneider. And now, to let this thing go since they have something to do. The product, uh, can we put a round of applause to Lisa Swedman, the mother of this fine talent who's a singer all her own. Little Eva. Woo, man. Leave this town and cry, I know that's right. She is a beautiful person and a great talent. And she's also a great mother, just as you are. And just as Danielle is. Beautiful. Well, hey, we have, a, uh, we have Elijah up here, the grandson of Bob. Huh? There you go. You're, I don't think this is his first gig. <laughs> but I'll see you at the gig. Without further ado, Okay. 
We're going to get them some things set up, get some music going. You have about five minutes. Cell phone anybody you want to see his history in the making.